that and I move so fast <laughs> when I talk I have to remember to slow down sometimes so I always try to give a self-love message right that's 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 very important to me because I wrote a book that really talks about self-love it's called as thyself by Nia and the purpose of the book is to just take people through my self-love journey to help people understand some of the hurdles that I overcame to make sure that I'm doing my part in, in helping people grow. You know, if that's what I claim I do, I just want that to be, to be out there. So I, uh, I, I, added the self-love message to the show because I thought it would be a good way for me to get some of my ideas that come out of my book that help me uh, in, in touch with people, you know, and get some of that out there. If you don't want to pick up the book to read it or whatever, you know, I just want to get the messaging out because that's more important to me than anything. So my self-love message this week is let people go and grow. Let people go to allow them to grow. And I feel like we spend so much time, uh, you know, chasing after people, holding on to people, trying to prove our point in why we are good enough for a person to be with us. All of those things, you know, um, that we should not be doing, that we do not have to invest in. And you, for whatever reason, you know, I fall into, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. You know, I'm imperfect. And sometimes I come across people, I'm a helper, you know, I'm a nurturer. So when I see people struggling with something, even if it is like struggling to have relationships and struggling to express what they want, I want to jump in and help them. And a lot of times I have to remember that that's not my job. I have to allow them to grow into the level of maturity or grow into the level of having the desire or understanding the value of partnership and some relationships. And uh, so, yeah, you got to let them go to let them grow. And that's just my example. There's so many examples out there. But I do believe that when we love ourselves, when we invest in ourselves, we don't miss out. We don't miss out on anything or anyone. We do not miss out because the time that you have alone is like the best time that can be afforded to you because then you can focus on yourself because relationships and things like that are all about being selfless and really giving yourself to accomplish a goal that um, when two people come together, you know, it, being single you have to invest in that person. And if you have kids and you invest in the children and the family and the mission for the family. But when you're single, even if you're single with kids, you get an opportunity to work on you and develop and to develop into who your best self. So I feel like we should take advantage of that, you know, be proud of that. And I'm not saying that should discourage you from wanting to be in a partnership, because definitely, like I said in my intro, someone holding up a mirror can definitely help you grow, you know, but I guess at the end of the day, what it boils down to is it's all good. Partnership, being single, being married, all good. It's all good, you know, and I think we have to understand that. Like if, if somebody got to go to grow, let them go, you know, and I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's some songs out there that says, you know, if, if they come back, then it was meant to be or something like that. You know, you know the song. But even if they don't, oh, well, you're still good. So that's my self-love message. Let people go. You know, let them, even, even if you want it so bad, let, it, let them go. Discover your value and your worth because there's plenty there. There's plenty there. Mm-hmm.